Hello, my name is Catherine, and I work with the Fort Worth Public Library. Today's story time is themed monsters. Let's get started with our welcome song, which is Hello Friends. I like this song because we get to sing it in English, Spanish, and also use a few American Sign Language signs. I'll show you how. The sign for hello is a salute. Can you do that? Very good. And the sign for friends is two fingers giving each other a hug. The sign for it's time, we point to our wrist where we might wear a watch. And to say we touch the tip of our chin and go out just like that. All right, so here we go. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Very good, everyone. Now let's try it in Spanish, please. All right, so the Spanish word for hello is hola. Can you say that with me? Hola. Very good. The word for Friends in Spanish is amigos. Let's try that. Amigos. Very good. And then we say it's time by pointing to our wrists. Es tiempo to say a decir. And then hola. Just like that. Here we go. Hola amigos. Hola amigos. Hola, amigos, es tiempo a decir hola. Very good. All right, our first book today is Monsters Love Underpants, written by Claire Friedman and Ben Court. Monsters think it's monster fun to creep around all scary. But there's something they love even more than looking mean and scary. Monsters all love underpants and think pants are fantastic. They like all patterns, shapes, and styles and twanging pants elastics. Look at these guys, that's just what they're doing. Some prowl through dingy dungeons. Oh, you hear them howling loudly. Creak, one finds squeaky armor pants and clanks around so proudly. Drool monsters from the steamy swamp fill pants with gooey slime. But oops, the pants get slippery and slide down all the time. Look at that guy, how embarrassing. Wild woolly mountain monsters make explorers faint with fright. Clump, they snatch their frozen pants, then run off in the night. These are monster thieves. At the bottom of the ocean, a pirate ship now rests, where sea monsters wear pants with jewels they pinch from treasure chests. How fancy. The spiky, spooky space monsters all wave and roar hooray when out from blackest, deepest space, bright bloomers float their way. Just look at all those underpants. Some are blue, some are pink, some are green, some have polka dots, and some have stripes. All right. It's not the sand inside his pants that make this monster twitchy. His underpants are way too small. He says, I wish they weren't so itchy. It's Saturday, monster disco night. They wear pants bold and brave. The password is wobbly pants, shh, to get them in the cave. 
The monsters show their pants off as they dance the monster bop. Their pants clad bottoms jig and jive till someone hollers stop. It's almost daylight. Quick back home. We can't risk being spotted. For no one will be scared of us in pants all striped and dotted. These monsters are pretty silly. So if you hear strange scuffles from beneath your bed, beware. You might just catch a monster trying on your snazzy pair. The end. All right, the next song we're going to sing today is Horns and Things. Here we go. Horns and things, knees and paws, knees and paws, knees and paws. Horns, things, knees and paws, eyes, ears, tail and claws. All right, we're going to try a monster chant today. This one is called Monsters Galore. It has some actions if you'll play along with me, please. Here we go. Monsters Galore, can you roar? Roar! Monsters Galore, can you soar? Soar! Very good. Monsters Galore, Please shut the door. Awesome. Monster galore, fall to the floor. All right, monsters galore, give your loudest roar. Roar! Very good. Our second book is titled, Some Monsters Are Different and written by David Milgram. Some monsters are afraid. <gasps> this monster is afraid of this tiny worm. But some monsters are not. Looks like this worm might be this monster's lunch. Some monsters will eat anything. Just look at that table. There are things that have eyes. These look like they're alive. And these look very slimy. And that monster looks awfully hungry. But some monsters are picky. This little monster only wants to eat pizza. Some monsters talk and talk and talk and talk. This big guy says, and then I dreamed I ate a tuna sandwich. No, wait, it was cheese and tomato. No. It was tuna on rye. Or was it soup? He talks so much the other monsters are bored to sleep. Some monsters are quiet. The big monster asks, how are you today? The shy monster can't think of a thing to say. Some monsters are alike. Look at that. They are all wearing the same type of hat, glasses, and pink outfits. Some monsters are different. One monster is tall, the other is short. One is wearing pink and shoes. The other one is wearing different colors and no shoes. Some monsters love to dance. But some like to watch. Some monsters love to play outside. Some like inside. Some monsters don't make any fuss at all when they have to take a bath. It looks like it'll get, be hard to get that monster out of the tub. But some do. Look at that. That little guy made a terrible mess and made a run for it. But 
all monsters are absolutely, positively, completely, perfectly wonderful. Just the way they are. The end. All right, we're gonna sing a few scarf songs today. If you don't have a scarf, don't worry, you can use any type of towel, a rag, or even a sock. But here we go. We're gonna start with popcorn kernels, one of my favorites. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels, in the pot, in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, till they pop till they pop. Let's try that one one more time. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels, in the pot, in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, till they pop, till they pop. All right, so our next scarf song is going to be Wave Your Scarves, if you'll just follow me along. Here we go. Wave your scarves up and down, up and down, up and down. Wave your scarves up and down. Wave your scarves. Wave your scarves left and right, left and right, left and right. Wave your scarves left and right. Wave your scarves. Wave your scarves round and round, round and round, round and round. Wave your scarves round and round. Wave your scarves. Wave your scarves fast, 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 fast. Wave your scarves fast, fast, fast. Wave your scarves. Wave your scarves slow, slow, slow. Slow, 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 slow. Wave your scarves, slow, slow, slow. Wave your scarves. For our final scarf song, I'm going to use two scarves and we're going to sing the wheels on the bus. Here we go. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. Round and round, the wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The wheels on the bus go open and shut, all through the town. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 the horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all through the town. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. I hope you had a lot of fun with our scarf songs today, but scarf so songs are more than just fun. They help practice coordination and build motor skills. Our final book today is titled One Little Monster and it's written and illustrated by Marc Gagné. I'm cozy in bed and what do I see? One little monster staring at me. I say to myself, what harm could, I, could it do? I only blinked once. But now I see two. One, two. Two little monsters. Are they searching for me? One has a big sneeze. Ah, two. Yuck. Now there are three. Three little monsters are now on the floor. One was hiding. The count is now four. One, two, three, four. Four little monsters. One cuts the cheese. Pew wee. Now I smell five. Hold your nose, please. Five little monsters make another from bricks. All dancing around, it's a party of six. S 
Six little monsters shudder and shake. One slips on some ooze. Into seven they break. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven little monsters serve up a surprise, but they can't fool me. That's number eight in disguise. Eight little monsters follow my sign. Monster party this way. Out pops another. And now there are nine. Nine little monsters. Will it happen again? Hey, there's a strange one. Hey, there's a strange one. Oh wow, there are ten. These little monsters are under my trap. I'll mail you away, far, far away. Right after my nap. <gasps> Look, the monsters escaped. But that's okay, the end. Okay everyone, our next song is If You're a Monster and You Know It. Please sing along with me. If you're a monster and you know it, clap your paws. If you're a monster and you know it, clap your paws. If you're a monster and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're a monster and you know it, clap your paws. If you're a monster and you know it, stomp your paws. If you're a monster and you know it, stomp your paws. If you're a monster and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're a monster and you know it, stomp your paws. If you're a monster and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're a monster and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're a monster and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're a monster and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're a monster and you know it, do all three. Stomp, stomp, hooray! If you're a monster and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, sh hooray! If you're a monster and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're a monster and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray! Awesome job, everyone. All right, today we're going to make our very own puppet monster crafts. You can get a craft sack at any Fort Worth Public Library. But if you didn't have a chance to do that, you'll need a triangle or another shape of paper, some smaller phone shapes, a few eyeballs, a craft stick, some strips of paper, and some handy glue dots. So we'll get started. All right, let's begin making our puppet monster. I am going to take one strip of paper and just for fun, I'm going to bend it in half and then I'm going to rip it straight down the mi middle. And you know what? I think I'm going to do that with one more strip of paper. Here we go. Just like this. You might not choose to do that, but I want to give my monster four stubby short legs. Here we go. So I'm going to take a glue dot, maybe one more. And what I'm going to do is take my first glue dot and instead of using the entire glue dot, glue dot I'm going to cut it right in half with my fingernail. You don't have to do this. You may not give your monster as many feet as I am. Here we go, and I'm gonna put that right on the giant triangle. That's the body of my monster. And then I'll grab a second glue dot and do the exact same thing. Here we go. So two glue dots became four. And two strips of paper also became four when I cut them in half. All right, that works. 
And here we go. I'm going to put a foot there, another one there, number three, and number four. All right. Now I have three glue dots left. I'm going to take two more and I'm going to give my monster a couple of arms. Just stick that one right there. I could cut it in half, but I don't need to. It's struggle. It's giving me a hard time anyway. Let's try another one for the other side. Here we go. That one was much easier. And I'm going to keep these a little bit long, but I'm going to fold them just to give them some wrinkles, so to speak. How about that? Now I'll do the same with the second strip, strip of paper. I think he'll go just like that. All right, so I have three sticker eyes and I'm going to give my monster an eye at the center top of the triangle. triangle. And then I think I'll give him another on the end of his arm and the other arm too. How's that? Now I have a few foam shapes. I am going to take one heart shape, peel the sticker off the back, and place it right on top of his leg or foot. Then I think I will take a star and peel the back off as well, and I'll put it on the second foot. And I have a green square, and that'll go on the next one, just like that. And then I'll take a blue heart and put it on the very last foot. There we go. Put that last heart right there. And I have one yellow star left. And I think I'll put this one right in the center. There we go. And I'm going to flip my monster over. And I saved one last glue dot. Now I'm going to take my final glue dot and apply it to the back of my puppet monster. Let's see if I can get press it down and get it nice and stuck there. It worked. All right, and then I'll take my craft stick and press that down right on top of the glue dot so my, pu my puppet will stay. I'll flip it over you know what? I think I want to bend the bottom of the legs and make it look like my monster has feet and legs. Here we go. And ta-da! There's my puppet monster. I hope you have fun making yours. Making a puppet can be lots of fun. But puppets also help build narrative skills. Children can use puppets to retell a story or come up with one of their own. This type of play helps develop comprehension, which makes learning to read fun. All right, everyone, it's time for a closing song. We're going to sing Goodbye Friends, Adios Amigos. If you don't know the signs, please follow me and I'll show you how. Here we go. Goodbye friends, goodbye.
Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Adios, amigos. Adios, amigos. Adios, amigos. Es tiempo a decir adios. Bye, everyone.